Hi, Susie Rhodes here from Past Masters. Welcome to this week's video. This week we have an edition of Math Made Easy. Our topic is going to be total return. This topic will help you with your SIE exam, your Series 65, and your Series 66. So total return. Let's look at the definition. It is yield plus growth divided by what was paid for the security. Yield on a bond, don't forget, that would be the interest. Yield on a stock would be the dividends paid. It's important to note that sometimes there is not growth. There's no appreciation. Instead, there is depreciation. That would be an amount of money that you would subtract from the securities yield. When depreciation is more than yield, it will cause the total return to be negative. Total return is retrospective. So we're looking at what has happened in the past. Let's look at some practice questions on total return. In January of 2020, Trudy purchased 100 shares of stock at $10 a share. The stock paid $1.50 per share in dividends. The share price in January 2021 was $11 a share. 25% is the investment's current yield, total return, internal rate of return, or after-tax return. So let's think about it here. We have yield of $1.50 plus growth of $1. So yield plus growth, $2.50, divided by what was paid for the security, $10. That is 25%. 25% is this investment's total return. Kindle purchased a 10% corporate bond at par value. So she paid $1,000. Due to decreasing interest rates, her bond is now trading in the market for 102.5 points. What is Kindle's total return? So yield plus growth divided by what was paid for the bond. What is the yield? 10%. 10% of par value is $100 in annual interest. What is the growth? Well, let's see. Two and a half points. A point on a bond is worth $10. So $100 plus two and a half points. So two points would be $20. Half a point is five. So $100 plus $25 divided by $1,000. Kindle's total return is 12.5%. Now, I'm not expecting you to be able to do the math in your head. You can always use your handy dandy non-programmable calculator. They'll give you one of the tests. It'll look something like this. It might even be tinier. Or it's available on the computer screen. But I always do try to choose numbers that I can do in my head. That's not always how the test is, but oftentimes it is. Now, you might be thinking, why did you do all that math? You didn't have to do all that math, Susie. That's true. But oftentimes, the students that I have had over the 20 plus years of teaching people just like you like to do the math the long way. The shorter way would have been to look at the yield is 10% and the growth is 2.5% of par because she paid par and then today it's worth 102.5% of par, because really that's what points are. When you buy a bond at par, you're paying 100% of par value. So you'd be paying 100 points to buy the bond. So 2.5% plus 10%, 12.5%, same thing. You can do it either way. So if the long way makes more sense to you, you'd be like most of my students. If the short way makes sense to you, by all means, do it the shorter way. It's up to you. Our last question, number three. In December 2022, Mr. Curtis Kruger purchased 1,000 shares of stock when the market price was $20. During the year, the stock paid $2 per share in dividends. One year later, the stock's market price is $17. What is Mr. Kruger's total return? 
So we have yield on a stock, dividends, $2 plus growth. Wait, there is no growth. We have depreciation and we have $3 worth of depreciation. When the depreciation is more than the yield, what did I say about total return? Is it going to be positive or negative? It's going to be negative. So we have $2 plus a minus $3, which is negative 1, divided by what he paid for the stock, which is $20. So negative 1 divided by 20 is negative 5%. So you can have a negative total return. That's it for this week's Math Made Easy. Total return. None of these exams are math heavy exams, but you do need to know a few formulas. And total return is yield plus growth. Definitely know that. If you have any questions about this topic, just ask me in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn those notifications on. If you'd like to check out Past Masters course offerings or to enroll in any of our programs, there is a link found in this video's description. Keep up the good work. I hope to have you as a student soon. Happy studies! You got this.